Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video. Guys, it is official. Uh, Shan Tsung is coming to MK Mobile. You can see they currently are teasing him. And know the Cobra, you know what you, it stands for. And you also know that Mick Pack actually uh, did a hint about it by showing uh, Charlie's Angels classic Scorpion classic, Sub Zero and classic Noob Cybot. Some of us thought that Noob Cybot was coming, but actually it turns out that it was a hint for Shan Tsung because his Fatal Blow. Uh, is there uh, brought by three characters and these characters are Scorpion, Sub-Zero and Noob Saibot so it was kind of obvious unfortunately I never played with Shang Tsung uh, in MK11 I always play with my two girls Sonia and Melina and I didn't know I didn't pay attention that his uh, Fatal Blow was consisted of uh, three characters assisting him in the process Scorpion, Sub-Zero uh, and Noob Saibot with that said it is guaranteed, guys. It is guaranteed. Look at this snake. Look at this cobra. It is 100% certain that Chan Tsung is coming next update. And considering the fact that now it's the 15th of December, I'm convinced that update will roll out in a week. So probably the update uh, date is going to be the 21st or the 22nd. Something like this. With that said, we had some other news that we have to go through. First of all, uh, Sonya's brutality, guys. And you can take a look at the epic and the rare piece. The epic piece gives 60% damage boost against enemies affected by stun, 50% unblockable chance on basic attacks and 30% unblockable chance on all special attacks. Also 50% chance to apply shield break on special one. Guys, I don't know about you but this is the worst epic piece for Sonya imaginable. First of all, Sonya doesn't stun. Second of all, Sonya doesn't use uh, her special one at all. I almost never use her special one. The only way uh, that I will entertain this thought is if the enemy is really low I don't have any power uh, I mean I don't have power for special 2 I don't want him to escape so I want to finish him with special 1 so I don't want to apply shield break on that you know it's totally worthless and Cold War Sonya is the only diamond Sonya we have which is really sad we have three diamond scarlets we have three diamond jades and we have one diamond Sonya and one diamond Melina there is no logic in that but anyways uh, let's take a look at the rare piece. 25% power generation, that's awesome. 25% to remove opponent's active buffs on combo enders. Okay. Even though Sonya is not really the greatest fighter in the world. 7% chance to stun an opponent for 3 seconds when dealing a critical hit on basic attacks. Okay, that's good. But I would think that it's going to be better uh, on Ronin Kenshi probably. Because if, if you play Ronin Kenshi, Ronin team, you have uh, like 150% critical hit chance. So this is going to be very good for him. Uh, and then the damage boost for the Cold War Tower. So I'm not really happy with this equipment, especially the epic one. First of all, I already mentioned Sonya doesn't have stun. Uh, Sonya doesn't use her special one. And the thing is, this epic piece gives unblockable chance on basic attacks and unblockable chance on special attacks, which is overkill. Why do you need this? If you have 50% unblockable chance on basic attacks, then in 99.9% .9 of the cases you're going to have clean uh, opportunity to do special 2 or special 1 without the enemies blocking, right? Because you're uh, going to break the block in the process while punching them with special attacks. Uh, so I would remove this 50% of blockable chance on basic attacks or I would remove the 30% of blockable chance on all special attacks. In fact, the 30% of blockable chance on all special attacks is probably the best thing for Sonya out of this uh, equipment because uh, her special 2 consists of multiple mini hits and eventually it will break the enemy's block. With that said, let's proceed with the next uh, epic piece and this is uh, the epic piece for Scarlet. Now I have to ad admit that Scarlet Brutality is awesome. I know it from MK11 and I'm very, I'll be very happy to have it. Plus we have three Diamond Scarlets for good or bad. Uh, so yeah, you're going to use it more often, especially if you're running uh, you know, Cold War team, or if you're running Assassin team, you get the idea. Now let's take a look at the equipment. 50% max scale boost, that's very good because Assassin Scarlet, actually not Assassin, but MK11 Scarlet, has the highest HP in the game. Uh, I believe uh, she's tied with uh, Dark Fate Terminator first place. Bleed lasts 50% longer, that's awesome, very good for her. Even though it's a little bit underwhelming for an epic, but still it's okay. And then... Uh, Exclusively for Scarlet, it gives 25% chance to convert 50% damage on health on special one. Again, underwhelming for an uh, epic piece that will take years to max. Let's face it guys, you have to pay a lot of money in order to max this equipment. A lot. Probably we're talking about at least $500 or something like this. 
and even then it's not guaranteed that you're going to max it. Uh, and giving 25% you can get it on a rare equipment, so at least they should, uh, should do it like 50, because once again it's an epic equipment which if you don't spend money on it, it will take years to max it, probably 2 or 3 years, because they don't repeat every tower every year. Uh, judging from the LKT, so far it hasn't been confirmed. So I believe that this year we're going to skip the LKT tower, which means that probably to return next year, but who knows. Anyways, uh, immunity to all dot including dark magic. Okay, that's awesome, but probably you're going to unlock it at Fusion 10. Uh, and uh, if you are playing MKLM Scarlet, I'm not quite sure whether it's going to be destroying the point of uh, teaming Scarlet with Jade because you want to heal from the dots, you don't want to be immune to all dots. So this item is... Uh, it is... I would say that it's probably slightly better than Sonya's one because at least one of the Scarlets has a lot of HP and she will enjoy the 50% max scale boost and the bleed, all of them have bleed, so uh, yeah, that's... This item is okay, still underwhelming, but okay. Let's take a look at the rare piece. 35% critical hit chance boost, awesome, 40% damage uh, boost of the bleed dot, that's okay. And dot can critically hit, I, I, wanna, I wanna see that, how can they critically hit? And imagine using this item with the best DOT team ever, which is MK Level Scorpion, Ravenous Melina and Assassin Scarlet. I wanna have this item maxed, I wanna have it maxed. And I will max it eventually, uh, but when it comes to the epics, once again, I wouldn't spend money on them, honestly. They're underwhelming. Okay guys, uh, so I am happy that the game is moving into the right direction. For two updates in a row we got uh, Noob Saibot, fan favorite, and Shansung, fan favorite. Uh, and uh, I really hope that if not this update, then probably on the next update onwards, they will finally start adding new challenge characters in the game. Because guys, it's been two years, two long years since we received the last gold challenge characters. Wonder Brothers, two years. We didn't get a single gold challenge character. I mean, that's not good. Though I appreciate that the game is going to the right direction, I'm going to admit that. I will never going to, you know, say something that it is true when it isn't true, uh, and vice versa. The game is doing good. The game is probably at the moment better than ever, apart from the fact that uh, we don't have gold challenge characters and the diamonds keep piling up, like with every update, we got at least one diamond and zero golds. And it was a big announcement, a big deal that we got one gold who isn't even challenge goat. Uh, this was this uh, risking character smoke. I really hate this character. There is nothing special about him. And when he pulls the guy with his spear or whatever he is, he doesn't say get over here, which I understand because he isn't scorpion, but it's, it feels really incomplete. I don't know. Anyways, this is going to be all for me for today, guys. Tell me what you think about this. Are you happy? Are you excited? Shansung is coming to the game. So I don't know whether he's going to be obtainable through packs or uh, whether he's going to be put in a faction war store, hopefully. Or I don't know. Really. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. See you next time, guys. Take care and stay safe. Perfect.